This is a video that I'm gonna make, uh, it's, or that I'm making right now, that's gonna preface the video I'm gonna release later on this evening. Uh, for those of you who don't know, this SVB, Silicon Valley Bank thing, and the bailout that they got, this bailout kind of covers every bank and makes every bank too big to fail. And this clip is from Breaking Points, which is a YouTube news channel that I, I watch. And they, it's with uh, Sagar Anjadi and Crystal Ball, and they do a great job in explaining what I talk about uh, in my clip that I'm going to play from Saturday's show. So check this out. Department. This was a large bank that was went basically all in on the crypto industry and then got itself to the point where its assets were almost completely and totally wiped out. And with that wipeout, unable to fill their deposits and the Fed step in and basically make all of their depositors whole. And this is total malfeasance on the behalf of the signature, alleged malfeasance, by the way, for the lawyers uh, who are out there. But at the very least, let's call it what? Mismanagement? Let's call it mismanagement to go all in and backstop the crypto industry, make yourself so wholly and totally exposed, yeah. unable to fulfill your deposits. And then because, uh, you know, what's the old, what's it's like you privatize the gains, socialize the risks. It's like mm -hmm. how the FDIC is the one who is paying all these people's deposits. Yeah. I saw it's somebody crazy. who was like libertarian on the way up, socialist on the way down. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, right. wow, that is really well said. I mean, yeah. Well, and it's incredible with Barney Frank. Okay. Yeah. So he's famously the author of Dodd-Frank Financial Reform, which in my opinion was an improvement, did not go far enough, but okay. Then he immediately leaves Congress, cashes in a variety of ways, one of which is serving on the board of this bank, Signature Bank, which has now gone belly up. And in his position now as a board member of this bank, he actually went and lobbied for them to roll back some of the very regulations mm -hmm. that he held to author and put in place. So it's just, could not find a more perfect example of the disgusting nature of the American political system, ultimately. Yeah. And the idea that, listen, maybe, maybe you could have a fig leaf of truth to the idea that, um, SVB was systemically important. I think that's absurd, but okay, maybe. You could make that case with regional banks, especially in the state of California, but there's no making that case on this on one. On this yeah. one, absolutely not. Yes. And so even a Silicon Valley bank is getting all the headlines about their depositors being backstopped. The very same provisions apply to Signature Bank as well under this same guise and fake, fake nonsense that they're systemically important. And that's why it's so important to understand what this means, not just for this moment, but going forward. The U.S. government has said we are backstopping 100 percent of deposits at these banks and effectively de facto, as Jeff Stein pointed out, at all others. And if we are deeming Signature Bank too big to fail, every bank in the country is effectively too big to fail. We have got to think about what this means for our entire banking system. And the the direction, like this, this direction as it exists right now is completely insane that the public is on the hook for literally everything. And then the gains are all concentrated in a handful of a few wealthy executives yes, and shareholders. Of profits and of bonuses.